The U.S. Olympic swim trials officially take a dive into the pool in Lucas Oil Stadium for a shot on the Olympic team. News 8's Colin Bailey is live in front of Lucas Oil to share all the details about the trials. Good morning. Good morning to you, Brittany. About over a thousand athletes are competing for 52 spots on a team that goes to Paris and not that long. And they're going to start here in Lucas Oil Stadium. You can see the beautiful backdrop with the sun right now. Here to talk about all the fun happening today is Sam from the Indiana Sports Corporation. What can we expect inside Lucas Oil today? Yeah, I mean, this is a record breaking moment. This is the first time this event's been inside an NFL stadium. And we're going to break the world record for the largest swim meet in history. It's going to be incredible. We're going to start naming those 52 athletes to the Olympic team. And okay, wait to see who ends up going to Paris. Talk about this evening. I know there's going to be a giveaway with shirts. They're going to be red and blue and also Katie Ledecky and Iconic Swimmers going to be hitting the pool tonight to kick things off. Yeah, so as a part of that world record kind of moment, we're going to have that Team USA pride. We have one of the biggest names in swimming competing tonight. It's really, truly the best way to kick off an incredible week-long event. What goes into something like this to, to get ready for this, to put the pool inside Lucas Oil? Takes years in the making, right? Yeah, I mean, we've been working on this all the way back since COVID, and over the last two have really honed in on these details of how do we get three pools inside an NFL stadium? How do we get two million gallons of water in there? And after all this work, seeing it come to fruition is amazing. And one cool thing about, about the trousers, is all the free stuff. We'll talk about Georgia Street first. I know it's a couple blocks away here from Lucas Oil, but what can people expect? Concerts and a lot of fun all day long? Yeah, starting at 1 o'clock, we're going to have some live music. Uh, every single day, we're going to have free concerts, free music. Uh, there's food vendors, drink vendors. There's games out on Georgia Street as well, and that's all free from 1 to 7. And what about the Toyota AquaZone and the Indiana Convention Center? That's also free and family friendly? Yeah, so inside the Toyota AquaZone, we'll have some former athlete appearances, so autograph signings from former Olympians. We have some more activations as well. There's a flight simulator in there, uh, and that is free too, also from 1 to 7. What's it been like for you at the sports who are gearing up for this? I know it's exciting. I know it's a lot of work as well, but just how excited is you all and your, and your team as well? Because you can feel the buzz around here. A lot of people are walking around and, and taking a run out here this morning. Yeah, I mean, we, we just love how much energy the city has and how much the community's rallied around this event. Seeing how much it has meant to people, both of the swimmers who have come in, but then the people who are already here, the Hoosiers who get to experience this once-in-a-lifetime kind of event of showing why Indi Indiana and Indianapolis can take an event to the next level it's great it's gonna be a great time kicks off at 11 a.m. in here so just under a handful of hours and then Katie Ledecky with the pool about 7 45 this evening so it's gonna be a good time inside Lucas Oil Stadium but for now in downtown Indianapolis I'm Colin Bailey for Wish TV WishTV.com or follow us on Facebook for updates